Hello. Disclaimer. This video is for mature audiences only. If you are offended by anything in this video, I am probably talking about you. If you don't have a sense of humor, do not watch this video. You have been warned. Don't get butt hurt. So now that we got the intro out of the way, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more relaxed since most of my videos here recently have been a lot about theory crafting, balance, you know, stuff like that. So I wanted to do something a little bit more fun since we just had the Mid-Year Mayhem event. So here is to all the Zerglings that participated. Uh, and if you aren't sure if you are a Zergling, this video is definitely for you. What is a Zergling? I don't want language to be a barrier. So here are some high quality, high definition images that NASA just sent me last week to kind of help me explain this. So as you can see here, we have a picture of a male, a picture of a female, and a picture of a Zergling. So now, uh, in the far right picture uh, of the Zergling, the little red guy, that is the Zergling. So Zergling is a little bit more complicated. So similar to male and female, that is singular. Uh, Zergling is also singular. But uh, Zerg is the collective of Zerglings. So it's Zergling together strong, Zergling weak alone. That's, you know, the, that's how the saying goes. So now let's use Zergling in a sentence. A Zergling chased me all around Cyrodiil, but finally once his Zerg had left him, I completely deleted him from the server. I hope you enjoyed that example. <laughs> so now let's get into something a little bit more serious. So in PvP, everybody has experienced this. So nothing is worse than going into Cyrodiil and you can legit feel the lag as you're going towards a keep or an outpost. You know automatically that, there, that you are approaching a Zerg. The frame rate starts to go down skill delay becomes intolerable so there is a minimum amount of skill delay that Zoss has forced us to adapt to and we can tolerate that but approaching a keep uh, filled with a zerg exceeds the minimum level that we can tolerate at that point you can anticipate a blue screen a load screen or a death screen so what is a zergling's weapon of choice now as you'll notice i didn't say class of choice because you can be a zergling on any class but the weapon of choice that Zerglings use isn't your typical uh, weapon. It's not going to be like a two-handed weapon or a bow or anything like that. Not even not even a sniper, really. It's going to be Siege. 100%. So this kind of brings me to my first point. Uh, if you find yourself sieging players more than you do keeps, you are a Zergling. Now, we all know that guy that sits in the back uh, in a castle even, or even just counter sieges in a random open field uh sieging you know a, a ball group or a small group you know trying to x some zerglings or a zerg uh there's that random guy that pulls out a meatbag catapult and just starts shooting it and that is the most toxic person uh <laughs> ever that's worse than dueling uh, on his stamina dot dk uh that is the worst thing that can happen in pvp is somebody to pull out a meat bag or a cold fire trebuchet any of that nonsense uh, that, that is 100% Zergling material. If you do that, all of the 1VXers, all of the small scale players literally hate you. <laughs> Just being honest. Uh, that definitely doesn't show any skill. Obviously, if you're up in the fight, uh, you're going to learn something. But just shooting Siege doesn't help. And it's honestly very toxic for the game. Uh, that's why there's a divide in the community between Zerglings and, you know, small scalers. Is That's just... You're not actually fighting. That's not fun. That's, n that's not fun for the person's fighting uh, the siege and probably not even fun for you. I mean, I guess if it, if it is, then you may need to go to the, the doctor and get your brain checked. So the next way on how to tell if you are a Zergling is if you find yourself doing 911 callouts, basically saying, oh, 911 Sejanus Outpost need some reinforcements, need, uh, need some reds to help out. Uh, or if you type LFG or looking for group uh, in zone chat in Cyrodiil, uh, you definitely are probably a Zergling. Um, just bottom line, 911 callouts and LFG are super cringy. Uh, they sh basically, if you see someone type LFG in the zone, they are probably not a good player and they don't understand what they're doing. They think that's what you're supposed to do. And I guess there's really no right or wrong way to play Elder Scrolls in PvP. I guess to a certain extent people who don't know the game are trying to learn, but that's not the way to do it. You're going to get the wrong information there. I have guides to show you guys how to get better at PvP. You know, joining a Zerg is not going to get you better whatsoever. Doing 911 callouts to even 
Uh, they you honestly could really benefit from those just by yourself just trying to one VX people two VX people with a buddy So if you're playing with some friends anything more than eight, I would consider pushing a zerg uh, Now obviously a zerg is you know a random bunch of people together uh, Anything above 24 is pretty much a zerg anything. That's you know obnoxious amount of people um, That's that's a zerg, but eight is considered a ball group is what they call it uh, even then you know that that typically People with in, in ball groups are, are better players, but even then, I feel like it's cringy, you know, to watch in certain aspects. If everything coordinated and it just gets a little bit too sweaty for me, I like to just be relaxed and play. If you're getting that sweaty and trying to kill Zerglings, you know, that's all you. You know, that's cool, but it just doesn't show much skill in my opinion. You know, having two or three healers uh, and just coordinating ultimates is, is not very hard uh, and it just doesn't show, you know, a whole bunch of skill. So which brings me to my third point. If your group ult dumps one player, you might be a Zergling. I don't know how many times I've been getting chased by people and get three or four, three meteors on me. I uh, get a Dawnbreaker, two or three Dawnbreakers, get an end cap. And it's just like, really? I mean, you guys have 10, 15 people and you guys use six of your ultimates. And there's only two or three people in my group. Uh, it just shows you know again how thirsty they are but uh it's honestly really funny to get old dumped it's it's annoying but you know it is what it is ultimates are supposed to be powerful but just getting hit by three or four meteors is not very fun and there's really not much you can do about it so yeah you're definitely a zergling if you ult dump one or two people when you have about 15 uh straight up so the next way to tell if you are zergling if you if you and your group are salivating like rabid dogs while chasing one player, you might be a Zergling. So doing this just shows a few things. You're thirsty, uh, you're cringy, and it doesn't really help you because again, running in a big group, you're not really learning anything. You're just learning all the wrong things about PvP. Uh, it shows sheer incompetence on you know skill level. So as soon as you get singled out by somebody 1vxing, uh, you're gonna get deleted. And you're not you're gonna be like what the heck I have an old nerf this and nerf that after watching this video if you see somebody you know one VXing and they're you know have six or seven people on them uh, don't jump in just let them do what they have to do let them play uh, it's the most annoying thing is when you have people on top of people pile up and pile up they literally come out of nowhere because it, it's it's one of the most annoying things and it's demoralizing you know one VXing and then you almost kill three four of them and then, you know, reinforcements show up and now there's 10 and then you just get zerg down. And then they start to, you know, teabag and whatnot. So, which brings me to my final point. If you teabag somebody after XV wanting them, you are definitely 100% a zergling. You are like the epitome and on the top of the tier list for being a zergling. Just, just don't. Especially if you aren't a good player because at that point, the 1vxer will hunt you down. They will single you out. Uh, and make your life miserable because of how you know toxic it is to teabag entirely anyways uh, the only time I teabag somebody is if they're running some super cringy uh, proc sets like unleash terror I will 100% teabag you if you're running that it takes no skill to use that and for two if you teabag me first that's the only two ways I will teabag somebody uh, is if I feel they're being you know super cringy or being you know just trying to start something you know I'll, I'll give the friendly teabags back so here's a clip of, you know, everything wrong with PvP and performance right now. Just, I can't, I have no words to explain. It's okay. There's only four of them, and they don't look very good. They don't look very good. That's, that's, <laughs> that's they're coming with reinforcements. <laughs> oh no, yeah, there's some behind us. <laughs> I was just oh, kite yeah. over here, oh. behind this rock. Um, I almost got leap. I can't oh, hit. I can't hit Carterize. All right, three, two, one. Lot. Leap right here. <laughs> oh, oh leap did no. Leap just did damage after. Oh yeah. Oh. Sorry, there's a lot more. <laughs> did you just see that? The leap did damage oh. after the freaking like what? After I leaped, there's I can't hit skills. I'm like, I'm like super slow. I can't hit skills. Like <laughs> black <laughs> skills are black. I wish I had a submissive. <laughs> I, I can't hit skills. Oh, no. Alright, leaping. 
Let's watch the damage of Leap hit him after I die. That's nice. Okay. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, if you guys want to get better at PvP, obviously the only way to do that is to go solo, small scale, to just focus on yourself and get better. So I've done several videos about how to get better at PvP, you know, kind of what to do, how to do this or how to do that. So if you guys need some help with that, then check out those videos. And that's it for me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.